insects are fascinating creatures that have evolved a variety of unique adaptations to survive in their environment. One of the most important adaptations is their respiratory system, which allows them to breathe in a way that is very different from that of mammals or other vertebrates. In this article, we will take a closer look at how insects breathe and the adaptations they have made to survive in their environment. Insects have a respiratory system that is very different from that of mammals. While mammals breathe through their lungs, insects breathe through a network of tubes called tracheae. These tubes extend throughout the insect's body, branching into smaller and smaller tubes until they reach every cell in the insect's body. The tracheae are supported by a series of rings that help to keep them open, and they are lined with a thin layer of cuticle, which helps to prevent them from collapsing. The tracheae are also connected to small openings on the insect's exoskeleton called spiracles. These spiracles can be opened or closed by muscles, allowing the insect to regulate the flow of air into and out of their respiratory system. Insects breathe using a process called passive diffusion. This means that air is drawn in and out of the spiracles by simple diffusion, rather than being actively pumped in and out of the tracheae. When the insect needs to breathe in, the spiracles open and air is drawn in through the tracheae. The oxygen in the air diffuses across the thin layer of cuticle and into the insect's cells, where it is used for cellular respiration. Insects also have a system for removing carbon dioxide, which is a waste product of cellular respiration. When the insect exhales, the carbon dioxide diffuses out of the cells and into the trachea, where it is carried out of the spiracles and into the atmosphere. Insects have adapted their respiratory system to survive in a variety of different environments. Some insects, such as beetles, have spiracles that are located on the underside of their body, allowing them to breathe even when they are submerged in water. Other insects, such as mosquitoes, have specialized structures called air sacs that allow them to store and use oxygen more efficiently during flight. In conclusion, the respiratory system of insects is a fascinating adaptation that has allowed them to survive and thrive in a variety of different environments. By using a network of tubes called tracheae, Insects are able to breathe through a process of passive diffusion, allowing them to extract oxygen from the air and remove carbon dioxide from their cells. These adaptations have helped insects to become some of the most successful and diverse animals on the planet.